Engineering, I'm Alan. In today's video we take a look at some Blue Nano coated small hole boring cutters. They go down to 2mm and up to 8mm and they're sold separately. So let's go to the workshop and see how they perform. These are a set of boring tools from Banggood. The sizes go from 2mm, 3, 4, 5, 6 and there's an 8mm but I couldn't get hold of one. They're made from carbide with the blue nano coating and they're classed as a small hole boring cutter. Now with the camera I can't get any closer than that so to get a better magnification I'll get the microscope out. So we can have a look at one of them. I'll take the middle one in the range. We'll have a look at this under the microscope and then I'll put it in the milling machine and see how they cut. Well that's the view under the microscope and you can see the cutting tip is on the left hand side and that's the cutting face. So I'll just use a spot drill just to mark where I want to drill a hole. I'm drilling a 4mm hole then we'll fit the boring cutter on the milling machine and see how it bores. Speed that up, it's a bit slow. Now that's a four millimetre hole and if you look at the bore you can see it's quite a rough bore so I'll be surprised if the boring tool will cut that through and remove all the score marks. Now I'll change the four millimetre drill to the five millimetre boring cutter and we'll take a cut through and see how it goes but remember I'm on a milling machine and I'm doing the cut by hand. And what I will do is I'll put that through at a thousand RPM and see how it cuts. The finish is not too good on the 4mm, you can see where I started, it's a good finish and as it got down further the finish got a bit rougher, but I think that was the drill not cutting through. So what I'm doing now, I'm going to change the cutter for the 6mm cutter. It's an X-cutter, so it's, it's got half a mil on each side of the board to take out. And I've put the speed up to 1600, just in case it was a bit too slow. Um, so we'll just try it at that.
finish looks okay. That's the finish of the 6mm bore. The finish is a lot better but uh, it doesn't look it. That's the magnification on it. I've just moved over to the lathe and selected a piece of steel which already has a countersink in the end. I'll drill that out to 5mm and then put the bore in all in. That's the boring bar with an insert. This is the tool that we're testing. As you can see, it's, it's this is six mil. And it's already half the size of an insert boring bar. Now the first part is just a recess and then it's the second part that I've bored out. And you can see the finish on that is really good. Considering all I did was put the cutter in a Jacob's chuck in the tailstock and fed it in by hand. That's the cutter. So I would say that's a, a good bore for the way I did it. I wasn't expecting to get a good finish at all with the tailstock. But it worked. I'll have to make a small V-block to hold these in a standard tool holder or maybe just a, a bar that's got the hole in it. But it worked. Now these are the sizes and lengths of each boring cutter. The problem is finding a way of holding the tools in the lathe. I need to make a holder for those. Oh well, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it, hope it was useful, and we'll see you next time on Enoch's Engineering.